Okay, so now we're going to go into my, my testimony because we're just going to talk a little bit about what really, really happened to my kids and use this testimony to help other kids with needs. And this testimony not only talks about what we did for kids with autism, but also as a resource to help other kids. So, like I said before, my son Jacob, and he said next time we do this, he may come and talk to everybody if you guys want. Right on. I said I had to ask him, and, and I said, we'll just see how it goes, but if we do another one of these. And he said, I think I could do that, Mom. So anyway, wait, maybe that will be a next time. But anyway, so he's 17 now, and he was diagnosed at two and a half. And he was severe. For any of you that know this disease, they can't modulate. They, he had, seriously, green poop. Um, he couldn't talk. He had self-stim behavior. Um, he couldn't socialize. He was the kid, I would say, Jacob, stop, and he can't hear or modulate anything, and he'd be cruising down, you know, Home Depot, and I, many times I thought I, I was just going to lose the kid, right? I mean, just that's it, right? And, um, and, and so we, we started him with something called ABA, Applied Behavior Analysis, and tell people, CARD is the best program out there, Center for Autistic Related Disorders. We had about 10 years of ABA therapists in our home for 40 hours a week retraining the brain. But the brain can't really take hold unless you heal the gut because there's this leaky gut thing. And if you don't heal the gut, then the brain can't really fix itself. So you gotta do both. So most of us parents that have autistic kids, we really worked on doing both. And we did that through gluten casein free diets because our kids can't modulate wheat and dairy. It goes through the gut and acts as an opiate. It actually, you wonder why those kids always look zoned out, kind of stoned, because okay. it is actually doing that to them. Okay? So that's why you got to reduce that. And all of that causes something called yeast. So when you see kids that are like this in your household and, like, and they're doing this, you know, that self stim behavior, that's yeast. We say a yeasty child is a stimmy child. So you got to cut the yeast to get rid of the, the stim behavior. That's why all of our kids have been on antifungals for so many years. A lot of our kids can't modulate viruses. Have you ever noticed that kids on the spectrum, they're either always sick or never sick, like nothing quite right, right? That is because they don't modulate any of that stuff, okay? Um, and so, um, so what we did is we did the gluten casein free diet, we did antifungals, we did antivirals. Probiotics are so important because probiotics keep the gut healthy. It keeps the good bacteria. Remember, yeast can only build if you don't have a if you don't have good bacteria. Probiotics, omega threes, my three favorite things for neutral pseudical for my kids are a must in my household are protandum, omega-3s, and probiotics. I don't go a day without taking them myself and I don't go a day without giving them to my kids. For gut health, omega-3s are for inflammation and protandum reduces the oxidative load and allows the cells to repair. So important, okay? And so when you do that, then you can actually have these therapists come and do the ABA therapy because our kids don't generalize. Have you ever noticed autistic kids, they just do not learn like most of us. Scotty usually would say, you know, normal kids would say, oh, that's a black shirt. Isn't that cute? Autistic kids just don't process that. So you have to teach them, build a block upon block on a block, and then eventually it connects if their gut's healthy. Okay, so that's how that works. So having said that, I'm just going to tell you where he is now. Okay, he's been on Pretana for four years. Okay, he's 17, and we've done everything. So I'm not saying it's just Pretandem, okay? But here's where he's at now. He, um, he's been off his antifungal for four years because I believe that pretandum modulated, so he doesn't need an antifungal. He's been off his antiviral for four years. He um, has um, been, I, I can't even believe this, he's been off his gluten casein free diet for four years. Yeah, he doesn't really like dairy because he never really was growing up with it, but he does like a burger once in a while with a bun and he can modulate that now. Um, and he, um, <laughs> And when he hit puberty, a lot of our kids get massive OCD when they hit puberty. I don't know if, if you guys know that, but they, they hit puberty and something happens. And in seventh grade, Jacob didn't go to school for four months because he thought knives were going into his stomach. So we didn't know how to get him back in school. And so we had to put him on something called clozapan, which is a very serious pharmaceutical product mm -hmm. that puts the anxiety fire out, but is highly, highly addictive. And so, we just did our best. We're just parents doing our best, right? We just needed to see if we could get the knives out of his stomach. I mean, you know, the, he didn't really have them, but in his mind, and get him back to school. 
Well, um, since he's been on Pertandem, it's been four years, and we just went to the psychiatrist about, mm, I guess, six or seven months ago, and Jake, and, and the psychiatrist was telling him how, you know, he used to have to take four or six a day. That's how bad the fire was. He got himself all the way down to one a day, and the psychiatrist said, Jacob, you know, um, this is addictive medication, and if you don't need it, let's wean off. And he goes, well, I don't want to be on something addictive. I want to wean it off. And he did. So, um, you know, so I'm just saying that that kind of stuff modulates, right? And so um, he is, and, and so the other thing is, um, and autism's tricky, and we don't understand why 50% of our kids recover and 50 don't. All we know that you gotta do the things I just told you about, and you gotta do the ABA program. And if you do those things, you got a 50% chance of recovering your kid. If you do not do those things, you got no chance. I'm sorry, I hope I'm not too blunt, but it's true. So that's kind of, we decided to do all this for the 50% chance, and so today, he is 17, he's a junior in high school at Tribuco High School. He gets A's, B's, and C's. And um, he has really cool friends that pick him up and they go play golf and he plays lacrosse and I never thought he would A, have friends, B, actually be kind of like popular. Like, I mean, I know it's kind of weird, but you know, that's, I, I don't know, he wants a girlfriend. I don't, I'm sure he probably will have one someday. That will be a little weird, but excited because I didn't really think that could happen. At three, you know, when he didn't talk and, and all that, and um, and just the other day he said, Mom, um, I only have one special ed class left, and it is a study skills class. And I have been, you know, he knows what his life has been, right? Because he's recovered. He goes, when I was 10, I started coming out of the fog, and that's what he said one day, and, and he says, and I'm in gratitude that I'm good now. And he said, um, so you always told me to advocate for myself, and you always said that if, um, if, they weren't, if people weren't nice to me to let you know, well, this teacher is not nice to me in this class, nor to any of the other kids, and I don't want to be in special education anymore. I don't need it. I'm getting A's, B's, and C's. I want to be in typing. And so we marched into his IEP, which is another name for special education, and eight weeks ago, we signed him out. Yay! 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 So, um, so that is Jacob. And then my son, Shane, and how are we doing for time? Because Okay, I have about five more minutes. Are we all good with this? This is a, everybody fine with this? Okay. So Shane is my other son, and he is an identical twin. And they're 14. And Shane and Luke were something called monoambionotic twins. So they shared the same sap with no fine membranes. So their cords all wrapped together, and they got all knotted like licorice. And Shane didn't get enough oxygen to the brain, and Luke did. And so Shane has oxidative stress to the brain, seizures, and Luke does not. Identical twins, but different. Mm -hmm. So I could always, I did the mommy test, and I could always kind of compare them. And um, Shane's hands always shook. They were not, I did not, I'm just going to say it. I vaccinated Jacob. I did not vaccinate Luke and Shane. I'm just throwing it out there. So Luke and Shane are not autistic. I am in gratitude of that. However, because he has seizure disorder, he um, modulates, he, his hands always shook. And he was always about three years behind Luke, his brother, in reading, in writing, in everything. We even put him in something called Linda Mood Bell, if anybody knows that. It's a very intense reading program to try to get him up. And um, his left side score up, and I just always was doing the mommy test. We eventually had to put him on something called Depakote, because Depakote is an anti-seizure, and we did go to the hospital every year for seizure scans. So Depakote got his seizures about 80% there, but guess what? He was still um, uh, slow. You know, Depico slows the brain. I don't know if anybody, is anybody on Depico here so you know what I mean? So it slows the brain. So we started him on Pertanum. And I watched that video. Remember where it said you could take it with pharmaceuticals? I'm like, okay, well, it processes in different places. I'm probably good. So I started him at a half because he was 10 at the time. And his Depico. And for six months, he was on both. And pretty soon his hands stopped shaking. And pretty soon, um, his Lexile score, you guys know what I mean by Lexile score, is that reading count score that the kids do, started matching his identical brother. And, um, and then, um, I know I should have went to the doctor, but I just weaned him off the Depico. And, um, and don't, you know, go, you don't have to be me on that, okay? Do what you need to do on that. Um, and so I weaned him off, and um, his hands weren't shaking, and his reading was still getting better. I was doing the mom, you know, this is, this is Joe McCord, right? This is Joe McCord research. Right now I'm doing mommy research, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the mommy research. And um, 
he was fine. And so we went to his doctor and he said, Marcy, you know, you, he's been off of Depico for six months. You need to get him to the hospital and go get him tested because I don't, we don't know what's going on here. And so I go, well, God, he looks good, but maybe I am really messed up, you know? And so we took him to the <laughs> Right? Does anybody say that? <laughs> they look great, but maybe I'm messed up. The doctor says he's not good, so maybe he's not. So we went to the hospital. We did the three-day seizure test, and he came back a child that had seizures in the background, but has seizures no more. Wow. And that, that <laughs> I have never shared these stories in this format before, but so many of you have been coming to me over the last couple months and asking for something like this. I really wanted to provide that. And so I, once again, I believe that we basically, that, that their factory got shut down through an insult. And it could be the vaccines, or it could be no oxygen. Mm -hmm. And that pretendum turned the factory back on to shield so everything could repair. And I'm just a mom, but I'm really excited. And because of this, there is a business here if you so want to, to share. And right now we are going to have Michael Epstein come in and explain the business of Life Vantage. But I, I just, my heart just wants to um, let you know that we can help many children and there are especially many boys right now. One in four boys are on the spectrum in this generation. I just want you guys to be aware. And please take, if you don't have someone that is in your family personally or close to you, if you just hear people talking, just, just give them a gift of this folder. That's all I would ask. That I created this today um, for our children. So thank you so much for being present. I am a